So today's episode was inspired by something that happened to us yesterday and it got us thinking and we were like, well, hold up. This is probably a really good topic for a podcast episode. Yeah, it was basically it was a scenario where we were either going to speak about veganism or not. Exactly. Now, before we tell you about that scenario, just want to emphasize that, you know, for people who have been watching and listening to us for many years now, you know that we always say that we should always be speaking up for animals, Yes. right? We should always speak up for those innocent victims. Um, We're their voice. We have to speak up. And if vegans won't speak up for animals, then who will, as we always say? Exactly. And so... And if we were in the position of the animals, we would want somebody to speak up for us, wouldn't we? Exactly. Right. So that's why when we found ourselves in this scenario yesterday, we're like, hold up. What just happened there? (laughs) Right? Yeah. So um, we were in the lift. We left our apartment. We're in the lift going down to the ground floor. That's right. And a couple got in a couple floors on our way down. Mm -hmm. And they looked at us and, you know, we just said hi and, and that's it. And then the four of us were in silence as we continued down to the ground floor. But on the way down, they then said, Are Are you you that vegan couple? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and we said yes we are actually and they said oh we thought so yeah we've seen a couple of your videos on youtube yeah. oh thank you and then as we were leaving the apartment building i think you said to them so you know are you guys another vegan couple yeah and they said uh semi-vegan <laughs> and we're like Hmm. (laughs) Right. Now, they said semi-vegan, almost vegan, sometimes vegan. That kind of thing is what they were alluding to. Yeah. Right. So, no, they weren't vegan. Yeah. And we both kind of just paused in that moment. Because there's a million ways that you can respond. That's right. And and what happened was we got into our our transport because we were going off to the dentist, I think it was. And... uh, As we both got in, as in, when I say both, you and I, Luca and Natasha, right? Not the other couple, they went the other way. But as we got into the transport, we looked at each other and just went, yeah, there were so many things we could have said then, you know? And we both kind of knew that the other person was thinking, was that the best we could do for the animals in that situation? And I'm sure every vegan has been in a similar situation where they've questioned themselves after the situation. Yeah, exactly. Did they handle it as best they could? Look, I feel in hindsight that we did. So what, what happened it was, was uh, you know, context matters, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So basically, we'd, obviously, we'd never met this couple before. No. So first time, yep. we said, well, actually, you said, um, have you gone to Good Soul's Kitchen restaurant? It's absolutely fantastic food. So yeah. you kind of let them down the, well, go and try this. You know, it's so easy to be vegan here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. That's right. The other thing is we were limited for time. Yeah, we had a we dentist had appointment. appointment to get to. It wasn't like we had half an hour to sit with them and talk through the multiple objections that they may have. Exactly. Total time, three minutes, four minutes. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But it was enough to make us think and reflect about this and the whole the ride to the dentist were like hmm it was like whoa that was really interesting look at what happened to us yes. look at how we responded and reacted and how we felt afterwards yeah and so we were thinking well this is a great um scenario to kind of set up a discussion around when is it appropriate to speak up or shut up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it wasn't that we shut up. <laughs> no. Necessarily in that particular situation. It was more uh, how we spoke. Yeah. But I mean, it was very, it was very oh, soft, loose, roundabout. To me, I would kind of call that shutting up. Right. Right. Basically, and, and okay, let's get the definition of this, like, kind of sort of before <laughs> we get into this. So for me, speaking up would be saying, Sorry, guys, that's actually inaccurate. You're either vegan or you're not. Yeah. Right? So really speaking up about the ethics and and kind of, you know, again, laying down the vegan law, if you like. Yeah. Let's call it that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. What we did was a soft shut up approach. Yeah. Saying something, but not really saying something. I agree. I agree 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going by that definition (laughs) that I just made up. No, no. I... (laughs) It holds the essence of it. All right, yes, cool, good. cool, sweet. So what we thought we'd do for today's episode is we've we've gone away and we've written down a few real life scenarios that are tricky. They're the gray areas. They're the, oh my gosh, what do I do right now? Do I speak up or shut up? And we're going to put these scenarios to each other and of course to everyone listening. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on these. Yes. Pop down a comment. And any scenarios that you've got 
Put yes. them down in the comments below. Okay, so who wants to go first? You go first. Me? Yeah. All right. Um, looking at my list, I'm going to start off with the one that I think is... Well, anyway, I'll just start off. <laughs> okay, so Luca, I want you to think back... <laughs> He's already laughing. I like it already. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to think back 20 years. Wow. Yeah, I know. We, we just got together. Exactly. Okay, Blast so... from the past.